Hello, welcome to Architees. If you think that you need to be a Revit Pro to be able to create a roof like this in Revit, you are very wrong. Actually, even if you're a beginner and if you watch this tutorial and follow the steps which I'm going to do, you will be able to do this and you will see how simple it is to create a forms like this one is. Actually, whenever you are dealing with the similar things, with the similar forms, my advice to you is to try to understand the geometry itself, to try to break it down to its core elements and then to start modeling from there. But before I move to Revit, I would like to tell you that we have over 4 hours of free Revit training and you can find the access link in a video description. And just before I start modeling in Revit, as I said, let's try to understand the geometry. So first of all, I'm just going to assume that, uh, let's say, this roof has the slope of around 30 degrees. Maybe it's less, but it doesn't matter. Then you see that we have one, two, three sides and probably three more on the other side. So we have this hexagonal roof. And then I'm going to make this as uh, with having three levels. So this is level one, then this is level two, and this is level three. And let's just start doing this in Revit. So first of all, I will open our south elevation. Okay, we have level two. I will make all the levels to have the same height. And then I'm going to copy this one so we can make the third level. And then I'm going to create the plan view for that third level. Let's also create a 3D view. And here, I don't want to have those annotation categories. And now I will go to our south elevation. We'll go here, we'll take model line. And then I'm going to draw that line on the north south because I'm looking from the south. So we'll start from here. And as I said, it's around 30 degrees. And let's just extend this line up to the level one. And then in level one, I'm just going to create a reference plane. So we have level one, we are going to draw here and then we are going to draw to level three. But in level three, I would like to see level one. So we'll go to the range base level and we'll place level one so I can see level one from level three as well. And in level one, as we said, we have hexagonal roof. So I will just start not with the roof. I will start with the mass tool. So I will start creating in place mass. Bearing in mind that we have a hexagonal roof, it's going to be circumscribed polygon uh, with the six sides and I'm going to make it to be like this. And then I'm going to, from the middle of the side, perpendicularly create one line, which is, let's say, one meter. I am working in a millimeters, so that's why you see 1000. Then create the arc, something like this, delete this small line and then select only arc. So hover the mouse, press up a couple of times until you get it. Take a mirror, so MM in this case, or it's this one, and then mirror it. Then again, select this arc and this one, MM, and place it uh, at the bottom. I will also make one meter from here, and we'll Take the arc tool and I can now delete this hexagon. So we got this. You see that we have a circle here, but it doesn't need to be the circle here at the bottom. And if you create a circle at this part, you will see which problem you're going to face. So I'm at the level three and I can just make a circle. It doesn't matter. Let's go to 3D. And if I select those two and go here and create a form, this is not the form we wanted to have. So I will just go undo. In level three, I'm going to create this circumscribed polygon, which is going to be, let's say, 750 in radius. And I'm going to connect those two. So you see that we got something we want and it really looks well, but we are not done yet because you see that we need to have the cut on the second level and how we can make it. I will go to the south elevation. I can delete this line and then I'm going to from this cut create 
one reference plane more and in a level one i will enter the mass form i can just take the circle and i can go from here to here and then from let's say here to 15 meters let's create a line and i'm now just going to make this to wireframe we'll take a slice tool actually split tool it's this one here and then i'm going to select this one and i'm going to create a void form so we got it and let's go to level one again let's select level for uh, void form and let's just mirror this one so we have we have something <laughs> which reminds but we are not done yet finish mess and then in this case you see that we have some teeny roof go to architecture roof roof by face and then just create a new type which is going to be let's say 25 millimeters and then just start picking the roof faces and click create form. When you are done with it, go to messing inside and then turn off messes. And I can, in a level three, for example, take the wall tool, which will start from level one and it can go to level three. So it doesn't matter. I can draw it from level three or it can go to level two, actually level three. Uh, again, a circumscribed polygon, six sides, and let's make it maybe four meters. Then, okay my wrong select all of them so they starts from level one and then attach to base attach to the roof and here it comes it was way simpler than you're expecting i'm pretty sure and uh, again just try whenever you're dealing with a similar forms to break it down to the core geometry parts and if you would like to know more about roofs in revit we created a roof playlist just watch it and if you have any questions, just feel free to write under the videos.